Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Khaled again with the STM32 uh, on step controller and uh, today I'm going to show you a new feature that uh, I'm adding to the, uh, uh, the on step controller and everyone who already has an on step controller can, can get this by a software upgrade and uh, the appropriate switches. So what I, what I have here is uh, uh, stop, uh, is an, an what, what is called in the 3D uh, printer world uh, stop uh, end, end stop or a limit switch. And as you can see there is two wires coming up from the side. One is called uh, marked NC okay NC or NO. NC is the normally closed and NO is the normally opened and this is the ground. These are connected using these temporary clamps, uh, alligator clips to the first to the leftmost two pins on the STM board itself. So these boards are not on the PCB itself but they are, uh, these pins are not on the PCB they are on the uh, STM board itself and if you have followed the instructions then you know that you should uh, bend these pins a bit uh, 45 degrees so that you can attach things to. So the pin that is uh, so uh, the pin that is to the left is the ground and the following one is PA14 which is the one that we will be using for limit sense. Uh, so let me show you the uh, the app. So this is the app here and we'll go in a bit close and you can see that there is no errors. Now if I press that switch see what will happen. Okay? Error sense limit. Error, error limit sense. So the on step detected uh, an error condition which is a limit sense which is basically that the mount has gone into positions where you don't want it to go uh, on, on the mount uh, and it will remain that way until you say initialize and then uh, at home so you reset okay or you say return home uh, and then uh, that way if you go back then the limit sense will, will clear. Uh, let's see how this would work in, in, in action. So what we'll do is that we'll, we'll say initialize and then uh, start alignment. Um, I'll go to, let us say, uh, uh, Deneb. Okay. And then I'll say go to. Okay. So you see that there is see here that on uh, on the sky chart with the okay so it's going to Deneb and there it is okay and then it beeps or rather it settles down first for, for more accurate positioning and then it and then it beeps and then the, the the controller will start to track you can see that the LED is blinking okay so now let us say that I'm going to do another another go to to the other side of the meridian and uh, I want to get, get it to let us say Hamel which is Alpha Aries and let's say telescope uh, slew to Alpha Aries okay so so we see that the uh, the reticle is is going like that and then let me just trip the switch. And you see that it stopped. Okay, so you see the motion has stopped here. Okay. And on the on the screen that's that's doing the uh, uh, that's going to go to, you don't see an indication except that uh, uh, go to has, has been highlighted. But if you go back to the main screen then you will see the same error limit sense here which means that the scope has gone to the uh, to the wrong position so what you can do is return it back to, to its position assuming that you check the mount and there is no cables entangled or there is no uh, damage to the tube or, uh, 
or something like that then you can say you know return home okay and it will go to the north celestial pole and then beep and then it will be ready for for action again okay so now it's ready and the error has been cleared there you go okay so the way I wire this is that you get the the ground to the ground here and then the the, uh, the limit switch uh, pin to uh, the, the no normally open the normally open and then you can you can also have in parallel other switches on other on the same pins okay so the white in, in this case the white would be the ground and the green would be the the pin so uh, you can you can have as many as many switches within reason i mean three four or something like that so you can have two on each axis or two sides of uh, of each axis or something and you can have uh, say uh, uh, another switch that's uh, like a panic a panic button so uh, a momentary switch that will act like a panic button so you can uh, you can press them if needed so anyway this is a feature that's uh, going to be added in uh, in on step in the next few days and uh, uh, look for uh, it will be in alpha thank you everyone